Hi kindergarten friends, I am back, um, minus my helpers here. This is like part two of the short E. Um, they are actually out at recess right now because they were having trouble getting along and they needed to burn off some energy, probably just like you guys. Um, so don't forget to be getting your gym class in every day or your recess. I wanted to really quickly go over with you um, some short E words where you find the short E at the beginning of the word and then in the middle. So I just wanted to write some words out for you. And this is something you can do at home too. So if you wanna grab um, some paper or a whiteboard and a pencil and pause me, do it, okay? Any writing you do is good, okay? That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about your writing and I'm worried about your reading and I'm worried about your letter sounds. So those are all things that you can practice right now. The first word I want to talk to you guys about is the word egg. And this word came up in our um, practice that we did on the flip chart. Egg. Okay, it has two G's there. Egg. We hear that silent E at the beginning of the word. E, e, egg. All right. If I wanted to eat more than one egg for breakfast, do you know what I would have to do if I wanted to tell you about it? Eggs. Check it out. Now it's plural, meaning more than one. Some of you might remember we talked about this a lot in reading groups. All right, another word that has the E at the beginning is end. E, N, D. I finally got to the end of my book. End. Or I found the end of the rainbow. I wonder what you'd find at the end of the rainbow. E, E, end. Here we go. Where is that short E? Right at the beginning of the word. The next one I have for you is elf. E, L. Elf. Sound it out as I write it. Eh, elf. Look at that short E. Right there at the beginning of the word. So eggs and elf. Now, what I really wanted to show you was the middle sound. Did you know there can be an E in the middle of a word? Of course, right? We know that, right, Mrs. Bailey? All right, let's look over here, and I'm going to try to sneak him in on this side. The first one I wanted to do was jet. So maybe I should make a little line here so you don't get confused. Whoop. Right here, jet, j, e, e, t, jet. Now check it out. Short e right there in the middle. My next word is men, m, e, e, n. That short e in the middle, middle. My next word is pet, p, e, t, pet. Can you see it? Maybe I'm a little far away, I'm not sure. Pet. Short E right there. P, at, in the middle. And the last one I have for you is bed. B, E, D. There it is. B, E, D. Right here you find short E in the middle of all of these words, and over here you find short E at the beginning of those words. Let me put it here. And I can change this if you want can keep it egg or eggs, depending on how many you like to have in the morning. Maybe it's just one. All right, so those are our short E words with E at the beginning and E in the middle. Then I want to give you a little assignment. A lot of you were able to come to school and pick up the handwriting packets. The kids know what these are. We practice um, writing all of the letters throughout the year, just giving us proper writing form when we do these letters. And if you flip today and do letter E, if you haven't done, alre done it already, I know some of you probably were like, sit down and do this writing, get some good practice in. So you might have already done it. But I just want to remind you that when you go to make a letter E, we always start at the top. Let's see if I can do it while you're watching. And pull down. So I start at the top, I pull down, pick up my pencil, pull across, pull across the middle, and then to the bottom, okay, for the capital E. For lower KC, I don't know if I can balance this, you guys can decide to do it a couple different ways. One way that people do it is they pull across, like the arrow is showing, and then curve it up and around, all right? Pull across, pull it up and around. Sometimes people like to make a letter C, and then come back and bring their line in. I'm okay with either way. If you want to be fast like a first grader, you pull across and curve it up and around. Okay, those that's a first grader way. If you're ready for it, pull up, or pull across, up and around. And make sure you also have proper pencil grip. A lot of us are still working on holding our pencil the right way, and I would really appreciate if you knew how to do that. 